Hi, everyone. So I'm Johnny. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Swiftly. And we are writing software to create intelligent and connected transportation. So globally, we have a pretty big problem, and that's that cars don't scale. By 2050, it's expected that two-thirds of the world's population will reside in urban areas. But already today, we're suffering from traffic. And so you're probably asking, well, why don't we just add more lanes? And this is what happens when you add more lanes. So this is a real traffic jam from China. Uh, it's 50 lanes. Um, so it goes to demonstrate the fact that we need to start looking at new solutions. And autonomous vehicles will help. But ultimately, we need to get more people per vehicle. And one of the best ways to do that is public transportation. So what we've done at Swiftly is we built the world's most intelligent monitoring and optimization platform for public transit. Um, I wish you could see this. It would normally be animating. But what this is is it's a live map of Toronto. And red bubbles are vehicles that are running early. They're ahead of schedule. Yellow bubbles are behind schedule. And green are on time. And the size of the bubble corresponds to how early or how late the vehicle's running. And so we monitor transit networks in real time to do really two core things with that data. The first is to help transit operators improve the operational performance of their network. And the second is we have an algorithm that helps riders optimize how they get from A to B. Oh, here we go. That's the uh, Toronto Movement Network. Let's go to the next slide here. So the analytics platform looks like this. It's just a web-based control panel. And it takes all the data that we've looked at uh, on the prior page, and it starts to suggest how transit agencies can improve their operational performance. So the, the key thing is to help them realize what routes are performing well or badly, which stops along which routes are performing well or badly, and to take all that information to both help improve operational efficiency, reduce costs, and improve the reliability of the system. The second thing that we do is we have a stunning mobile app. Let me skip. I think there's a video right here. This is how it works. Um, and you just enter your destination, and it looks at Uber and public transit and all of your options in real time. We also have electric scooters uh, integrated from San Francisco. Um, and we can more accurately predict real-time arrivals for public transit. So we benchmarked our algorithms against the, the signs that you see at bus stops, and we found that we're about 20% more accurate, and we can deploy this at about 10% of the cost at, of traditional systems. So we just did deployment in New Zealand, and last week we launched in Lake Tahoe, bringing real-time information to cities that have never been able to afford it. So a couple uh, high-level um, uh, statistics. So people have used our app 2.6 million times already this year. We now index 25,000 public transit vehicles on our platform. And we collect about a billion data points per month looking at vehicle movements and optimizing transit. We work with a variety of customers, both big and small. Our largest customers, Boston and BTA, we power the commuter rail, uh, down to smaller agencies like Lake Tahoe and uh, Hamilton City in New Zealand. All right, thank you very much. Thank you, Johnny.